Welcome to Affordable Backyard University, the weekly show that teaches you how to confidently buy backyard home improvements the right way. This week, we're taking you somewhere over the rainbow. Well, not just somewhere. We're taking you to the big little city of Denton, Texas, where you're going to see how a family in Denton got a beautiful, long-lasting, sturdy-built western red cedar fence and did it on a budget. And that's next on Affordable Backyard University. Now, if you've watched this channel at all, you know how much stock we put in how a fence is built and not just how pretty it is. We can take you to a hundred new neighborhoods where the builder's grade fences look really good now, but in two, three years, they look like they're 20 years old and they're falling down. It's important how the fence is built. Okay, so before we get started, let's talk about something that may look a little weird to you. You can see you've got posts and the pretty side all in the same line of fence. Well, that's really not true. The GoPro kind of distorted that. Where you can see the post, those pickets are facing the street. And the other pickets where you can see them, the pretty side, is actually facing in the backyard. Now let's talk about some sturdy, built, long-lasting features you can see with the naked eye in this photo. Now the backbone of any fence are the steel poles. Now, not only are these poles steel, they are 0.95 thick walled steel posts. They're on eight foot centers and they're two foot deep in the ground with maximizer concrete. They are not going anywhere. The first part of a wood fence that fails is usually these horizontal nailers you see here. A good builder uses two by four Western red cedar. A crappy builder uses 2x3 or 2x4 untreated white pine, not even supposed to be outside, but they get away with it, stain it, and tell you, you got a cedar fence. That's not true. And don't forget those beautiful 5.5 inch dog-eared pickets. They're held on those horizontal nailers with solid stainless steel ring shanked nails. That's a nail with a thread on it, like a screw. It holds that wood together and it doesn't come apart. All you need to do is keep that fence stained about every three to four years. Here is a great example of that builder's great fence made out of crappy material and how well it's held up. Next, let's talk about why this gate is never gonna sag or drag. You can see those heavy duty posts on either side of that gate. That gate's 48 inches wide and it is built super tough. It's supported. It's not going anywhere. It will not sag or drag. You just keep it stained and enjoy it. Well, you know what that music means. It's time for me to shut up and just let you enjoy the ride. Take a walk. Take a look. See us next time. Hey, we'd like to thank you for visiting with us on Affordable Backyard University. If you liked what you saw, click the like button. Help a brother out. We make videos every week. If you'd like to be notified, click the subscribe button. Ring the bell. Leave a question, leave a comment, leave a criticism. If you liked it, like it.